1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 21. Ye cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of devils. Ye cannot be partakers of the Lord's table and of the table of, I, of devils. Be a Christian. If you're a Christian, be a Christian in character. Be a Christian in speech. Be a Christian in what you watch. Be a Christian in what you say. Be a Christian in where you go. You cannot go to night club on Saturday and come to church on Sunday. If you're a Christian, be a Christian. You cannot be going to ordinary parties, to sex parties. On Saturday, on Sunday, you come to praise God. You, are, you shall not deceive yourself in Jesus' mighty name. God cannot be mocked. You cannot have one, 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 one leg with ungodliness, with worldliness, and you are parading yourself. Christianity goes more than an appellation. I'm a Christian. It goes more. What is your in you? I'm a Christian. It goes more than appellation. Christianity is not a name tag. Christianity is your character. And it starts from, if you know you're a Christian, what Jesus will not wash, you will not wash it. What Jesus Christ will not say, you will not say it. What Jesus Christ will not eat, you will not eat it. What Jesus Christ will not do, you will not do it. What Jesus Christ will not hear, you will not hear it. Be a Christian. Let's know who you are. This morning I was discussing with my colleagues in the office. And we were looking at the issue of transparency, of accountability, of being a man of integrity. But we, we, we discussed that in the office it's, it's difficult unless you are broken. When you are giving money to manage in the office, you start to manipulate, you start to forge receipts, you start to manufacture receipts. Money you do not spend, you, will, you go and print receipts and forge receipts to cover the expenses because, just because you want to make money. Be a Christian. You cannot drink the cup of devils and be professing to be a Christian. A month ago, I, I registered on a popular TV, TV channel that shows, that shows movies. And there is one particular movie they say in Nigeria. They say it's the number one trading movie in Nigeria. Now, and because of the so much harp, I mean, so much, uh, so much noise over the movie, I said, okay, let me watch the movie with my wife and children. They say it's the number one trading thing. Number one trading movie on, 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 the, on, the, on the channel. And me and my wife and my son, we were watching. At the beginning, I was cautious because they said, this movie, there's sex there, there is, uh, there is uh, violence there. I said, okay, let's wait and see. Before I knew what was happening, they started killing themselves in the movie. Ah, my mind is saying, is this the kind of movie I should be watching? They start, any movie that they are shooting guns, I don't watch it. Human life is valuable. They, start, they started cutting a woman person, a person into pieces in the movie. Ah, I said, is this what I, can, I should be watching? Now you know, pressures of sin. Sin, the Bible even says sin is pressurable. When you are committing sin, you enjoy it now. Before we could say, Jesus... You know, a lot of kissing scene in the movie where well, I was still accommodating. It's not as if I don't I have not seen people kissing before. Before I could, I could say Jesus, I saw people naked. You know, several ladies in another scene, several ladies naked. Ah, do you have to show nakedness before you make a point in a drama? I was still telling myself, <laughs> is this the kind of movie I should be watching? But the movie is interesting, you know. It, it, sin is also interesting. When you are sleeping with a lady that is not your wife, it's interesting. No? It's interesting. It's very interesting. When you are drinking, it's interesting. When you are smoking, it's interesting. I continue to watch. But the only thing is was sending me 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 33. Only, uh, evil, beware. Evil communications corrupt good morals. Before I could say Jesus is not, we move to another episode. We are sex, unseen. Ah, ah. I tell me, I told my people, this is sex they are having unseen. Oh. Ah, ah. 
And I said, this is too much. Oh. What, do I, what does it profit me by seeing life says on, on film? In the, in the name of enjoyment, in the name of watching movie. I said, no, 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 no. And my wife said, delete that film. Stop it. No matter whether it's number one trading. And the good thing is that if you, you, if, if, if you are a Christian, you know that the number one trending subject is Jesus Christ. It's not one useless movie. Jesus Christ has been trending for the past 20 years and we continue to trade. God is the number one trading person. The Holy Spirit is the number one trading issue. So, be a Christian. If you are like me, that, is for, that has fallen into temptation, before we reverse, reverse. Don't, don't watch any ungodly movie. You can't eat. I can't be watching a film where they are, they are showing pornography. I was seeing naked women. You know, they are, they are having sex on film. And now you come and carry the Bible again and be preaching on YouTube. It's a lie. You cannot be eating. There's a, a time ago, my, 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 my wife also loved films. And there's a particular India film series that she was watching. The Holy Spirit showed me a revelation that through that film, demons are entering the house. And I told her, we stop watching that, that, uh, that film, those movies. No film is neutral. Nothing, no speech is neutral. No communication is neutral. No news, no information is neutral. Separate yourself from the world. Do not love what the love loves. Do not celebrate what the not celebrates. Do not glamorize what the not glamorize. Check everything with the word of God. Evil communications, corrupt good morals. It is well with you. God will give you the power, the grace to walk in holiness and righteousness in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.